Hey you guys, so it is July 23rd and I guess these potatoes are ready. I was told to wait until all the roots die off and they are dead. So I'm gonna open these up and see what I got. You can see here I still have banana peppers coming in bell peppers here, still have a couple tomatoes, hot peppers, more tomatoes, eggplant is so slow, I don't know if it's going to do anything for real, and then um, jalapeno peppers over here, so that's it, my lettuce and stuff is all gone, and um, yeah, so on to the potatoes, I'm going to have to reposition my camera. Um, and try to record this without uh, Ron's help. So we will see if I can get this set up right so I can record as I dump the potatoes. Okay, I dumped my first bucket into my big compost heap. That's just the best way I can figure out how to do it one-handed. And I see a potato! Look, oh my gosh, a potato. I pulled this little one out already. Let's see. Let's see what I got. Potatoes, potatoes. Oh, these little ones. Oh no. Hmm. Look at that little tiny one. I don't know if that's edible. I'll find, I'll figure it out. Don't tell me that's all I'm gonna get. Don't tell me. Okay. Here's another one. Well, this is hard to do and hold the camera. Plus, you know, it might make somebody nauseous with all this moving around. So I'm gonna go through these, see what I come up with. Look at this, <laughs> look at this. So that's what I have so far out of that one bucket. So I'm gonna go through this, make sure I'm not missing anything. Get rid of the branches, dump the other two buckets and see how many potatoes I get. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So the buckets are empty. I filled up my compost bin with the dirt that came from there. They're all my dried up vegetation. Got something growing in the corner over there. I don't, I don't know what that is. But yeah, I got that. And this is my harvest. This is from bucket one, bucket two, and bucket three. Now, I could have left these potatoes in longer. I'm seeing that now. I have all these little ones that would have grown into something. And there's a lot of little ones. So these little ones could have grown into something amazing. But I got some decent sized ones here for dinners. There's only two of us. So this is a couple of nice dinners of like roasted potatoes and stuff. Ooh, drop one. And yeah. I'm satisfied with it for my very first time growing potatoes. I didn't do a whole lot of research on it, watched a couple of YouTube videos and just, you know, went for it. Could have left them in longer, but you live and you learn. I don't regret a thing. I'm happy about what I've gotten here. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna just store these. They say you should store them with the dirt on them and don't wash them until you use them. It keeps them um, preserved longer so they don't go bad and keep them in a cool, dark, dry place. So I'm gonna bag them up and um, do that. 
And yeah, my growing season is almost over. I'm not gonna do a second uh, planting. I'm gonna just work with what I got left. I have all these peppers and tomatoes left and hopefully that eggplant does something over there. But other than that, I'm pretty much done for the year. I wanted to try it on my patio. Um, it was fun learning. Still have a lot to learn and you know, constantly learning and I have books now on gardening and planting different things. Maybe I'll start reading those so I can get better at this. But I'm happy with what I got. I really am. I made potatoes. I wish my mom was here to see this, but I know she's seeing it. So there you go. I just can't talk to her about it and get feedback. But otherwise, you know, I'm happy with what I got here and we'll see what next year brings. <laughs>